Now, the achievements of young people in Kent are being honoured at the Medway Youth Awards this week. The event's in its second year and celebrates the impact young people and the adults who support them are making in their communities. To talk more about this, ahead of the awards tomorrow evening, I'm now joined by Thomas Baldock, who's the Medway Youth Council Chair. So thank you very much for joining us this evening. As I said just then, this is the second year that it's, uh, that it's been running. How did it all start? Um, so yeah, absolutely. Um, the Medway Youth Council um, decided to collaborate with the Medway Youth Service. Um, we work, as you'd expect, with a lot of young people and we felt that it was time to give an event that celebrates the outstanding achievements of young people in Medway um, and give an event that will recognise that, promote their stories, give them encouragement, as sometimes we can think that young people can get a bad rep and it's about promoting the positive stories in Medway. And what are some of the achievements that were honoured last year and as well as obviously this year? Yep, so last year we had um, two less categories because we brought forward two new, uh, two new categories. Um, and that ranges from creative arts to the um, Young Volunteers Award. There's a whole range of categories that young people can be um, uh, recognised for. And this year we've brought forward two new categories. Um, the Team Recognition Award that recognises teams of young people, um, as well as the Personal Challenge and Development, because we recognise that some, pe some young people um, have to overcome a few more barriers before they're able to reach their full potential. Obviously the awards are happening tomorrow evening. What do you hope the event will achieve? Um, I'm really hoping that they will all walk through those doors um, to the great Priestfield venue um, with a smile on their face. They'll have a great evening where they'll, that, that we heard from last year, many of them actually said they will remember it for the rest of their lives. It's about giving them a great um, chance to celebrate and have a great evening all about them. And in terms of the winners last year, were there any ones that kind of stood out in particular for you? Um, there, was, there was a lot that stood out. Mm. It was very difficult um, to um, recognise uh, just one individual, um, but we've actually invited um, some winners from last year to come back. Um, James Okolaja, who was a winner last year, is coming back to do a speech about how it's um, totally impacted his life. And in terms of the, the years going, moving forward, is this something that you hope to continue? Um, I hope to continue getting even more nominations. This year we had over 100, around about 150 and we'd always encourage um, people in the community to nominate any young person, a person who works with young people and adults um, to get that this chance for recognition. And you mentioned just a second ago that um, lots of young people get a r bad rep and you're trying to rectify that. Why is that, do you think? Um, I think it's very easy for us to read an article perhaps on any media outlet that um, covers um, something a, a small group of young people have done that's perhaps very bad and for us to be tarnished with this one um, brush that says we're all the same, we are troublemakers, but that's absolutely not the case. I've, I've met with hundreds if not thousands of young people and overwhelmingly all of them make, are making a positive difference. Well Thomas, thank you very much for joining us and all the best for tomorrow evening. Thank you. Now, women are